The holiday season is finally here, and if you're anything like me, you'll be traveling to see friends and family. But traveling with film can be pretty tricky. In this video, we'll be showing you some helpful tips and tricks to make traveling a little bit easier this holiday season. If you'll be flying during the holidays, there's a few things that you wanna keep in mind to make flying with your film a little easier. Firstly, keep all the film that you're taking with you inside of its original packaging and place it in a Ziploc bag. This makes it easier and faster for TSA to handle your film. Many times they may want to swab the whole bag or just the outside of a 10 roll brick or a five roll pro pack. <laughs> Sometimes they'll even just swab each individual roll. Pack your film inside of your carry-on luggage where you can easily access it or have a dedicated film bag as your personal item. Never pack it inside of your luggage that you'll be checking in. Check bags will most likely be scanned several times at the airport with stronger machines, which means your film will be exposed to more x-rays, which can fog your film. When you get to airport security, politely tell the agents that your film needs to be hand-checked. This is the safest way to prevent your film from being scanned. When you're requiring a hand check for your film, make sure you speak from a place of knowledge and authority about the subject, but be nice, polite, and courteous to the agents, especially if you're bringing a lot of film. Some regions require agents to hand check if the traveler requires it, but in others, it is up to their discretion if they wanna go through the trouble of hand checking all of your film. So being nice will definitely go a long way. Speak with confidence and talk technical about high sensitivity rating and push processing. Here in the US, TSA states that film with an ISO of 800 or lower can safely pass through their scanning machines without damaging your film. But we recommend always getting it hand checked because base fog is accumulative and will just add to the expiration and heat fog when traveling. And some of the machines they use are more powerful and can fully fog the film in one pass through. 800T is especially sensitive to base fog, so feel free to explain that the manufacturer has tested this unique product for sensitivity to their machines. If you're traveling with a lot of film, as I do, make sure you arrive at the airport early because hand checking your film might take a while. You can use a lead line bag to store your film, but keep in mind that lead line bags are made to protect from low levels of x-ray scans. If the technician can't determine what's inside your lead line bag, they'll scan your luggage again, but with increased levels of x-ray. These increased levels can potentially damage your film. Once your film has been exposed, if you want to avoid flying back home with your film, you can either mail them to your favorite film lab or find a local lab to process your film. Once your film has been safely processed, it's safe to pass through their scanning machines. If you prefer to process your film at home, make sure you hand check your film at the airport, whether it's been exposed or not, and process your film right away once you get home. Next up, storing and caring for your film. Properly storing and caring while you travel is necessary to avoid unsuspected damage to your film. Always keep your film out of the sun or in any in-climate environment. There's several products you can purchase to store your film and keep them protected before and after it's exposed. Film cases are a great way to keep your film safe from any exposure to moisture, UV, and or heat. There's several different options when it comes to these film cases, such as these made by Japan Camera Hunter and Kodak. Both of these cases come in 135 or 120 options. Now, if you're traveling by car, always make sure your camera is never visible if you have to leave it in the car. This is not how you want to find your favorite film camera on eBay or in some random pawn shop. Also, if you're traveling by car, don't leave your film to bake in the heat. If you wouldn't leave your puppy in the car, don't leave your film. Heat fog is real. Knowing a few of these tips has helped me travel safer and easier with my favorite film, and we hope it can help you as you travel during the holidays. If you have any tips on how you like to travel with your own film, please leave a comment down below. From everyone here at Cinestill, travel safe, have fun, and capture some amazing memories, hopefully on film. Happy holidays.